We're showing our full range of what we do and how our customers use it, uh, you know, which is the really exciting part of it. We've got some great examples on the stand of how people have been taking our technology and really pushing it to its limits and coming back and saying, hey, look what we've done with this, which is always really good to see. Something that's really exciting that uh, has just come out as a story is about one of our customers, Schneider Electric, over in France. And they've been using 3D printing for a few years and they started out prototyping with it as you know, many people know about 3D printing for. And within the company, they really started looking at how they use 3D printing and started pushing what they used it for. So they said, hey, we prototype products with it. Why don't we prototype some jigs and fixtures for the production floor? Fantastic. Then they thought, okay, we've got prototype jigs and fixtures. Why don't we actually print the jigs and fixtures instead of having the machines? So they're really taking time and cost out of their production process by printing their tooling. The second side of what they've been doing is uh, creating 3D printed injection mold tools. So they've looked at their current process. They said, we'll prototype with a 3D printer up to a certain point. After that, we need to injection mold it, make sure it's gonna be okay in the final material. That took time. You, know, you have to go off and get the mold tools uh, actually created. It could take weeks. Now they 3D print them overnight. They're looking to bring all of that together, really with a vision for the future, about that factory of the future thing that a lot of people talk about, but I don't think anyone really knows what it is. Um, and they're looking at how they produce things in future. And I think that's fascinating, because it's a real life, real world example of how things are changing in the world of 3D printing. You look at that one customer, they follow through that evolution. It's a prototyping tool. Then they've gone through to jigs and fixtures, to moulding, and how do we get to that holy grail of production parts using additive manufacturing. The industry is changing massively. When we were at the TCT show maybe three years ago, people were actually coming onto the stand and saying, what's 3D printing? Or can you show us how 3D printing works? People now are actually coming onto the stand and they say, okay, we've got this problem in our production process. How can we solve it? Can 3D printing help us with this? And that's brilliant to see because we're finding that um, we've gone from a stage where maybe there's early innovation, a lot of product design, that's still happening. But now we've got manufacturers, people who maybe never touched the 3D printer saying, we've seen what Opal, what Schneider, what companies like that are doing with your printers. How can we do that? How can we take time and cost out of our production process? I think Stratasys has taken a look at that factory of the future concept and said, What's it going to be in the future? Where are we going to be? Well, we could say we'll have a row of our Fortis machines printing and we'll concentrate on making them faster, developing new materials for them. We're doing that anyway. What we've looked at just recently is really pushing the boundaries of what's possible with 3D printing. So the two technology demonstrators that we recently showcased, one of them an infinite build machine, so theoretically you can build an infinitely long product with 3D printing. The second one, linking 3D printing with robotics so that you're extruding from the end of a seven axis arm. A really eye openers for people in manufacturing say, what do we want? When we're building things in five, in 10 years time, how do we want to build them? And can we go and work with someone like Stratasys to actually develop something completely new that's going to do that? So I think it's, it's showing that we're about more than constant innovation of what we're doing, we're making some real step changes in how people make things. Being customer focused is unbelievably essential to what you do with everything. But when we look at what our customers are doing and use that as a driver for how we can help them, it is a, a change in how you develop products and how you develop service. And by looking at all the customers that we've got, we've got dozens of great stories on the stand at TCT today that show how people are using it. But looking at their processes, understanding how they want to do things, helps us to develop what we do.